Starfish populations up and down the Pacific coast have been affected by an unknown type of disease which is causing them to waste away and die. My name is Jonathan Martin. I'm an avid scuba diver and I'm a consulting marine scientist. The consensus in the scientific community right now seems to be that this is a disease. Uh, it does fit in with other outbreaks that have been seen up and down the coast you know, for nigh on 50 years now. Disease outbreaks are seldom caused by simply one cause alone. Uh, even if it's a specific organism causing it, there can be other factors that are contributing to it. For example, these animals could be weakened or stressed out by hot water temperatures or, or higher salinities, and that would make them susceptible to some of these diseases. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of gross when they first started disintegrating, because what happens in the decomposition is that when an animal dies, uh, the decay causes a decrease in the oxygen around the corpse. And when that happens, you get the colonization of the dead animal by these bacteria that thrive in the absence of oxygen, and that's what causes this kind of white, filmy goo that the various news articles are describing. So it, it does create a very visceral reaction as like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Because a lot of people have speculated that water temperature may play into this disease outbreak, a lot of people have speculated in turn on the role of global warming and climate change. It's important to make a difference between uh, the immediate causes of something and something that increases the frequency of something. So if we start seeing more of these outbreaks, then there may be better evidence for climate change being a factor. But as far as one outbreak, um, it's probably an isolated incident. The fact that the outbreak has now been seen affecting sunflower stars around Seattle um, may be seen as counter evidence to the idea that temperature might be playing a role. And that's one of the interesting things about science is that new data changes the situation all the time and how we understand these things. And our understanding of the whole outbreak is really still evolving. Sunflower stars are what we call keystone predators, and that means that a relatively small number of them can have a significant effect on the structure of an ecosystem. Because all parts of an ecosystem are connected, something that affects one species is going to affect a lot of other species as well. And we've seen a lot of animals taking advantage of the lack of these predatory stars and uh, increasing their numbers and coming into these areas to feed. I've seen an increased number of juvenile California sea cucumbers in the area. Now those are too large to have been spawned recently since this uh, outbreak happened, but they're probably animals that are now taking advantage of the lack of sea stars to get out into more optimum foraging areas for their, their feeding. The biggest change we've seen so far is an increase in the number of green sea urchins in these uh, shallow water areas that the sunflower stars used to be found in. I'm not worried about the sunflower stars going away. With an animal that reproduces in such large numbers, uh, they're well positioned to recover after such a, an event. All those juvenile starfish are sitting out there right now just waiting for their chance to come in and uh, uh, start doing what starfish do. So I'm pretty confident that we'll start seeing more in the spring. I'm actually really surprised at how quickly this, uh, this whole thing took off in terms of the public awareness and the spread on social media. Usually in areas of marine conservation, the uh, focus is usually on the, the large charismatic animals like seals and, and sea lions. And uh, it's actually kind of heartening to see people caring about things like the sea stars, which although not quite as uh, cute and cuddly are nevertheless really important parts of our ecosystem. While the disease is probably natural, it does make us more aware of the fact that if we don't take care of our oceans, outbreaks like this may become more common and more severe in the future.